Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about how to overload the constructors in C++. So all of you know that what is function overloading. Function overloading is nothing but writing the function with the same name but with different types or different number of parameters. Since these constructors are also a functions or the methods of a class, you know, we can overload them. So we can overload them just like the way we were overloading the functions. So here in this tutorial, just for the demonstration purpose, I have defined a class human and we have age and name as a private properties of this class and we're going to write the constructors and overload them and make them to take different different parameters the first constructor we're gonna write is the default constructor that is the constructor with no parameters and all of you know that constructors should have the same name as the class and no return type so here inside this default constructor we're gonna say default constructor and uh, and then we're gonna initialize this to properties so let's initialize this age to a value of zero and name to no name all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna overload the constructors now so i'm gonna write a constructor which is gonna take the name as a parameter so to do that i need to write the function name which is the constructor name here human since it is constructor no return values and then this constructor is going to take one parameter so it's going to be string and i'm going to say input name that's going to be i name and then okay it's going to take one parameter and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this statements from the previous constructor definition and i'm going to paste it here and we're going to say constructor with name as the parameter and then we're gonna initialize this age to zero and we're gonna initialize this name to whatever the value passed that is i name you know the variable name and again we're gonna write another constructor same name human i'm gonna paste it and uh, here we're gonna make this to take the age as a parameter so it's gonna be int and i'm gonna call it as input age or i age and here also i'm gonna say age as a parameter and the age is gonna be i age and the name is gonna be no name all right the next or the last method that we're gonna build is you know we're gonna build a method to print out the values so it's gonna be void display and it's not gonna take any parameters and here we're gonna say see out it's gonna be name and this line and uh, age all right now we have defined a class human with two parameters or the properties age and name and we have overloaded the constructors so we have a default constructor which is not going to take any parameters and it's going to initialize all that properties and then we have a constructor which, which is going to take a string value as a parameter and we have another constructor which is going to take the age value as a parameter and similarly if you want you guys can write another constructor you know which is going to take the name and the age so you guys can do that so i'm going to copy this and paste it in the next line after that and we're going to name first so it's going to be string i name and age so it's going to be name equal to i name and i'm going to change this one to age and name as a parameter all right the next thing is creating the object when we overload the constructors so here you guys may remember while creating the objects we were writing the class name first human and then object name let's say anil and uh, you know if you are following this first method and then we were not writing anything so we were leaving it as it is and here what happens is when we create an object the c++ is going to call the default constructor so this human will be called and you know this age and name will be initialized to a value which we have specified here so I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to call anil.display okay 
the next thing is we have defined or overloaded the constructor to take parameters here so what we can do is we can pass the parameters to this object while creating it so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another object let's say Andy and we're gonna initialize this object when we create it to do that we need to use the two parentheses and we need to pass the parameters so here we have the options like we can pass a string value or we can pass an integer value or we can pass a string and an integer value so just for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna pass this string value so here the name is gonna be Andy and I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this okay we have all right this should be small s that's because you know string since C++ is case sensitive I'm gonna build and run again all right now you guys can see when this first object is created you know anil object is created our default constructor is called and the no name and zero is set to properties of that object anil and that's why when we display that we get no name and zero and then when we create this andy we got this constructor with name as a parameters and if we display the parameters or the values of the properties using the display function we'll get the andy so i'm gonna build and run this you guys can see andy and zero that's because you know uh, when we pass a name as a parameter we made that eight to zero and the name to whatever the value passed and similarly we can create another object and pass the age while uh, creating that let's say alex and we're gonna pass the age let's say 25 and uh, you know now if i build and run this we get constructor with age as a parameter andy zero and uh, you know similarly we can pass a name also let's say alex here and uh, you know we'll get constructor with age and name as a parameter so what we have so what we are done in this tutorial is we have overloaded the constructor and that's why we have the options of initializing the objects while creating it and the next thing is what if we don't define this default constructor here and uh, we overload the constructor you know to take the parameters at that time you guys need to pass the parameters while creating the object so we can't create a variable without any parameters like like this and that's because you know when we write at least one constructor with any parameters at that time the C++ is not gonna add the default constructor so if you want to create the objects with no parameters then you guys need to specify the default constructor otherwise it won't be added and if i run this program right now we'll get error just to demonstrate that i'm gonna build and run and you guys can see and i'm gonna open up the logs and uh, here it says no matching function call for human human that's because you know the default constructor is not declared or defined and if we haven't declared any of these constructors then the default constructor will be automatically added so this is it this is how you guys can overload the constructors in c plus plus thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial